KTP, Knowledge Transfer Partnerships. It's a long established program and it's based on partnerships between a company and a university. Uh, it's about getting knowledge out of the university so that the company can make use of it. So it might be about a new technology or a process or about new ways of doing business. And in fact, almost anything that's going to make a company more profitable. But each partnership is based on a predefined project, typically lasting a couple of years, that's going to achieve something strategic for the business. At Oxford Brookes University, we've had successful KTPs with partners ranging from big multinationals, people like Sony and Intercontinental Hotels Group, uh, to local high-tech spin-out companies and long-standing family firms. Uh, we've worked with a bus company, we've worked with local schools, uh, we're now working with a law firm. So that's really one of the excitements for me about it, the incredible variety of people and projects that we can help all through one very well thought out framework. Uh, Yasa Motors is a company based on an Oxford invention. It's a very advanced electric motor for vehicles and many other applications. It's significantly smaller and lighter than any competing technology. It's also inherently cheaper than its competitors, and it was used in Lord Drayson's recent World Electric Land Speed Record. However, the problem was that it was complex and time-consuming to manufacture, so in our first KTP with them, we helped them to dramatically shorten the production times. The, the genesis of the, of the KTP was, was through uh, my experience with, with little companies. Um, I've worked with uh, both large and small companies who have had KTPs before. Uh, great experience with that. Uh, demands a, a, a good look at the, uh, the university or the college, wherever one's, one's doing this, uh, to make sure that they are able to do the type of things that the company needs. And then it's important to have uh, a good rapport with the individuals there. And, and James uh, Broughton is a superb uh, character who we got on very well with very uh, immediately. And, uh, and so I could see, I, I started with the company, and there were only four or five people here. And I could see that the company would need this, the type of expertise which the guys at the joining technology center had. The KTP Riyasa essentially has been about um, developing sustainable joining technologies for the for the electric motor. Um, so, looking at the uh, the motor is essentially bonded together in, internally, and what we wanted to do was look at how we can improve the bonding, um, and obviously develop that for future products. So, really, for, for us, there were there were two things that were particularly attractive. Uh, the first one is we approached Oxford Brooks because of their expertise in joint technology, which was something the company uh, really needed to get a grasp of. So we, we felt we had a lot to learn from the university. Um, and the second area was the, the university has, has obviously got many years of uh, in investment into their capital equipment, uh, all sorts of instrumentation that we as a, a relatively small company don't have access to. So really that combination of, of expertise and, and equipment were the two key things that attracted us to, to the KTP. An associate is the, um, they're essentially a project manager and they bring together the project partners, so the university and the, uh, the company, um, and they manage the whole project. Uh, they make sure everything happens on time to plan. They partly devise the plan. Um, they also carry out the work. So my degree at Oxford Brooks was a, in, in mechanical engineering and the KTP project was uh, based around materials and joining technology in the Yasa motor. So the degree was really relevant to the project um, and the project, the, the work really complemented my degree and uh, pushed my skills and um, knowledge further in specific areas. We have got a superb rapport with the university. Um, and and that that actually has meant that we've gone beyond where the original KTP was was uh, aimed. Uh, and as part of that rapport with the university, we've 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 got technology challenges and a roadmap of our own which we'd like to follow. And the university ha happens to fit very neatly with one of those activities, and uh, that has led on to a second KTP. Uh, we've seen huge benefits of the the KTP. Uh, not, not least, um, we've learnt a lot from Oxford Brooks and their expertise. We've had an excellent associate working for their, for, for, in the KTP and now, now working for Yasser. Um, but I think particularly um, one of the overarching benefits is that the, the government helps fund this. 
and so the, gov- the, the company doesn't have to burden the full cost of, of the program, which would probably make it prohibitive. So those benefits coupled with getting some government support really make it a very attractive program. I see the role as academic supervisor as, as two part really. Um, one is a, to act as a mentor for the, for the associates. Um, there's a lot of project planning that the associate needs to do. Um, they also need to be able to, apart from planning their time, they also need to get relevant training if that's necessary. Maybe if it's for working on new software or developing skills for uh, lab equipment and, and so forth. So that's kind of a key role. And the other aspect, of course, is technical guidance. So being able to um, deliver the technical aspects of the project, um, access to equipment, um, they have a full access to uh, the joining technology research centres facilities there, so they can you can uh, employ both our staff to help develop um, aspects of the project, um, and and also um, also with relevant training, be able to use the equipment themselves. In terms of benefits um, to myself and and my research in particular, um, it's been incredibly useful working with with the ASA. Um, We've been exploring uh, new new materials, new adhesive systems. Um, All that has been very much in line with what my research is all about. So the KTP, um, for us, we had a fairly open mind as to to what we would achieve. And I think we've been, everyone here has been really... uh, uh, blown away uh, by uh, the results of the KTP, so they've they've really been much much bigger, I think, than we had anticipated. So we're very very pleased, delighted with the results, and uh, so much so that we've taken on the KTP associate as a full time employee, and we've also um, engaged in a, in, a, in a second KTP with Oxford Brook. So very happy.